Ugh, I'm hungry. Ah, <sighs> now that's fresh. Kate? Do you have a death wish? Want some? It's good. More for me, then. <laughs> I'm not drinking glue, silly. Have an empty glue bottle? Wash it out with soap and water. Then fill it with something sweet. Make sure it resembles glue like this. Time to fill her up! Looks an awful lot like glue, right? Put the cap on and you're done. Whoa, let me give it a try. Perfect! Hey, don't you read, Kate. Is the coast clear? I'm starving. Is Jennifer chewing? I don't see anything. Aha! Jennifer! You got grub? Whoa, that was fantastic! Have an empty Pringles can? Outline a cutout like this. Then cut it out with a blade. Be sure to disguise the can. Now it'll look like a pencil tin. Once that's done, fill it up with a snack. Nice choice! Still have the lid? Cut off its ridge and drop it in. This way your pencils can sit on top. Pretty brilliant, right? Tummy feel better now, Kate? Perfect. Okay, Columbus had three ships. The Nina, the Pinta, and the Santa Maria. Whoa, Nelly, was that me? Shh, lunch isn't for another two hours. Ugh, so embarrassing. Good thing I have an emergency snack stash. I hope I get a red one. Those are my fave. Oh! No snacking in my classroom, young lady. It'll have to wait till lunch. Okay, okay, I'm putting it away. All right, I can totally make it till lunch. I just have to focus. My second thought. Whoa, I still have a glue stick in here? Something tells me Vicky has another brilliant idea. If you have to hide snacks in class, use an empty glue stick case. The most important part? Take out the glue. You don't want to eat that. Don't forget the bottom piece. Make sure to rinse out the glue casing to get any lingering chemicals out of there. Now comes the fun part. Take some of your favorite candy, like these gummies here, out in a stack to stick in the tube. Now watch as they slide right in there. Perfect fit! When lunch is a couple classes away, nothing tastes better than a sneaky snack. Mm. Don't worry, it's just glue. Nothing to see here. You know, glue, gummy snacks, same thing. You'd better too fast, Vic. All right, time to buckle down and get to work. Let's get all my stuff set up here. Oh no, I'm all out of my pink paint. I could have sworn I just bought this. At least I still have the yellow one ready to go. And I'm out of that one too. Great. Well, that's too bad. Perhaps some sugary sweets will cheer you up? Sure, why not. Whoa, there she blows! It's raining Skittles! Rejoice! Whoa, wasn't expecting this to happen. Hey, check out my glass wow. of water. The candy made it into a lime green color. Awesome! It almost looks like it's radioactive or something, doesn't it? If one mm. piece of candy did all that, just think of what other colors we can make. If you have an empty tray like this, try making your own candy color palette. After you add some candy, brush some water on the pieces like this. It looks like actual watercolor paint. 
Who needs to go to the art supply store when you can just use your favorite candy? Wow, these girls are definitely inspired by this accidental discovery. Ooh, that last one is definitely frame-worthy. And if you carry the two, you get 245, which is also the answer to number 7 on the previous exam. But we'll cover that tomorrow. Oh man, saved by the bell. Oh, internet, I've missed you so this last hour. Whoa, isn't that a little loud, Sophia? Cool your jets, I'll turn it down. Let me see, where are my headphones? What a mess. What? How does this even happen in there? Wait, <sighs> I think this gum may prove quite useful. Mm. I've got mm. it. Take a plastic gum case like this one and take the gum out. Add some personal touches like fun stickers. Cute, right? With the case spread open, punch two holes into one side. Now add a keyring. Finally, you can listen to your favorite jams in public. Hey Sophia! Come on, we're all going to lunch! Now you can keep your earbuds neat and tidy for next time. And you never even have to throw them in your bag. Genius! Many people don't realize a teacher's job isn't done the moment the bell rings. Phew, all this greeting has got me beat. I wish I had time for a little nap. Yikes. All those red marks mean one thing. A D. Alright, looks like Miss Appleby is finally taking a well-deserved break. Whew. If I make it to the teacher's lounge in time, I can catch the last ten minutes of my favorite soap. But little does she know, Kate has been lurking around the corner, waiting for just the right moment to pounce. Good. The coast is clear. Looks like Miss Appleby graded this morning's exams. Is mine in here? Seriously? She called me stupid? This can't be right. I studied my butt off for this. Looks like things may turn out in my favor after all. For this prank, you'll need an empty cup and some chocolate brown putty like this. If you flatten it out a bit, you can actually make it look like spilled coffee. Looks pretty real, doesn't it? Don't forget to stretch it out to make a splatter effect. What? I was gone for two minutes. How did this happen? Let's see, did it soak through the entire pile? Hold on a second. Is this even coffee? I don't know what this is, but it's disgusting. Look at it. Some days it takes everything you have to stay awake in class. What? Whoops, I fell asleep. Better get going. Guys, the bell doesn't dismiss you, I do. Now sit down. Oh man, we were so close to being out of here. What time did I eat breakfast? Like, four hours ago? My stomach is grumbling something fierce. Maybe I have something at the bottom of my backpack? Let's see here. Okay, Miss Appleby isn't looking. I'm gonna dive on this pasta I whipped up last night. Huh? Is this pasta even cooked? Hey, Kate. Look what I have. Wanna do a little pranking this fine afternoon? Okay, I just gotta get to that chair without the teacher seeing me. Yikes, that was close! Now I'm gonna put some of my dry pasta underneath the legs. Please don't turn around. Please don't turn around. No! Did I hear someone say something? Nothing to see here, Teach. We're just taking notes. Oh boy, here comes the big moment! What on earth was that crunching noise? Did the chair break or something? <clears throat> Jennifer, that was awesome. You're the queen of pranks. <laughs>